Good morning, Nash. I'm Jason Earle. And I'm Noah Wessel, welcoming you to this week's episode of Tiger Nation. The Tiger baseball team began its spring trip to Florida on Friday with a 6-4 victory over St. Charles High School of Ohio. The Tigers grabbed the lead early with a four-run first inning and held off St. Charles thanks in part to the pitching of Trevor Smith. The N.A. senior tossed five innings and struck out seven batters to earn the win, while reliever Keegan Phillips pitched the Tigers out of a potential jam in the seventh to preserve the 6-4 win. North Allegheny improves to 2-1 overall and resumes play tomorrow at Gateway. The boys lacrosse team bounced back nicely from an opening night loss to Mount Lebanon with a convincing 10-5 triumph over the Seneca Valley Raiders on Wednesday night. The Tigers capitalized on f with four man-up goals and sophomore West Powell notched a hat trick to help N.A. to the section victory. North Allegheny improves to 1-1 one one overall and 1-0 and oh in conference play. The Tigers return to action tomorrow night at Fox Chapel. The varsity softball team traveled to Florida over the weekend to compete at the ESPN Wide World of Sports Complex. The girls returned with three victories and no losses against teams from around the country. The Tigers won 8-1, 10-4, and 7-1 over teams from Wisconsin, Illinois, and New Jersey, respectively. Throughout the competitions, the Tigers combined solid pitching, tight defense, and timely hitting to come home with a 3-0 perfect record. The team returns to the reality of Pittsburgh this week, taking on the Raiders of Seneca Valley in a road contest at 4 o'clock. The start of the AAA Section 2 Tennis Singles Tournament took place yesterday afternoon. Jared Isaacs and Richard Hoffman both advanced to the semifinal round and will compete today at the Nash Courts. Top three out of this final four will advance to the Whippeal Singles Tournament next week. Jared has the one seed and Richard the three. Good luck to you both. Continuing their early season role, the boys' volleyball team claimed the top prize at the Derry Invitational on Saturday. The Tigers rolled through pool play with an unblemished mark and coasted their way to the Invitational Championship with a 25-22 victory over Altoona. North Allegheny opened the tournament playoffs with a 25-13 rout of Penn Hills and defeated Shaler in the quarterfinals 25-18. The Tigers, the second-ranked team in the state, earned a 25-20 win over Norwin, the sixth-ranked team in Pennsylvania, in the semifinals to gain momentum for the title victory. North Allegheny hopes to continue its strong start to the season with a home contest tonight against Butler. That concludes today's varsity sports coverage here at North Allegheny. Uh, now, Noah, I'd like to take some time with you to address uh, what happened last night in the college basketball tournament. I feel like every sports show in America will be talking about that game today. Um, so Marcus Page makes a three. Uh, one of the most unbelievable shots we have seen in a national championship game. 4.7 seconds left on the clock. And next thing you know, Villanova comes down. Uh, and the game-winning three-pointer at the buzzer by Chris Jenkins. And I think the question everyone is asking this morning, Noah, is, is that the best championship game we have seen uh, in our lifetime, perhaps ever? Well, it certainly is the best one I've seen. Uh, I've been watching it for a while now, and that was easily the, one, the best one I've seen. I love Marcus Page. Uh, I love Chris Jenkins. So that was, that was fun for me to watch, definitely. Um, certainly a fantastic game. Uh, you think about um, the Kansas and Memphis game from uh, many years ago. It ranks right up there with that one. Uh, of course, I do think uh, the page shot, as well as the buzzer beater from Jenkins, will go down in tournament Final Four history. Um, now, uh, you look at Villanova, a team a little bit off the radar. Jay Wright coming in without a national championship under his belt. Uh, a lot of people thought North Carolina might even blow out uh, the Wildcats in this game. Um, but Ryan Archie Diacono, the senior veteran, comes through for the Cats. Uh, an unbelievable finish, uh, to say the least. Um, what, what do you think triggered that second half run uh, from Villanova? Uh, they were trailing at halftime, but they come back in the second half with a new energy. Um, what do you think uh, sparked that run for Villanova? Well, I know Archie Diacono is uh, definitely a leader for that team. Uh, he's averaged like 15 or 16 points that entire tournament, shooting like 65% from the field. And, uh, you know, I think that team just wanted to win more than North Carolina. They were the underdogs for sure. Everybody thought that they might have gotten destroyed and you know that was a great game to watch I think Villanova wanted it more though. Uh, now of course uh, the veterans on each team uh, two opposite sides of the spectrum though after the game in the locker room uh, 
triumph in the Villanova locker room. Bryce Johnson and Marcus Page, however, seniors for the Tar Heels. Uh, what do you think is going through their head after that game? Definitely disappointment. Uh, they've had a rough four years in North Carolina, and uh, I, they obviously wanted that win. But, um, you know, I think they enjoyed themselves, their, their time there. And, you know, I remember that speech that Marcus Page gave on his senior night, and that was, that was pretty awesome for me to listen to. But, you know, I think they feel pretty awful, but they've enjoyed their time. Certainly a memorable tenure for those two at North Carolina. That's all the time we have today for Tiger Nation. Congratulations to Villanova on the national championship. We'll see you next week. I'm Jason Earl. And I'm Noah Wessel. If you liked today's show, you can watch more at TigerTotalMedia.org. Thanks for watching, and tune in tomorrow for more great NATV programming.